guys, it's Aaron with Accelerant. I'm going to take you through real quick on just how to add uh, truck checks. Uh, and so you can see how easy and simple it is. So the first thing that, uh, that you want to do is you want to navigate over to your apparatus list. This is going to be a list of the current apparatus that you have in your fleet. Uh, the first thing you want to do is add new apparatus. So for your title, you can title the, the truck, uh, whatever you'd want to be. Uh, I'm just going to call this one engine 34. You can assign a, a type. There's three types, fire, rescue, or utility. I'm going to drop down to fire. <clears throat> It's active. Uh, it defaults to active. You know, if for some reason you take a truck out of your fleet, you can change that status. There's several different uh, types of statuses that you can put in there. Your apparatus ID is simply the truck number, so 34. The acquired date, we've actually made this a non-mandatory field. Um, so you can put in there whatever you want. I'm just going to put 2022 for this one. And I'm going to say this is a Pierce Sabre. We're going to call this a 2022 year. The description here, you can really put anything you want. Um, for example, <clears throat> you may just want to put the number of gallons just your, of water your truck holds or the VIN number, whatever the case might be. Otherwise, you can just leave it blank if you want to. Um, and at this point, if you wanted to save, this would just add that truck to your fleet. But uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add a, uh, an actual truck check to this new apparatus while we're in here. So. Accelerant is broke down into, or truck checks are broke down into really two, two different things. You've got your sections and you've got your fields. Sections are, really think about them as either a section of the truck or a space or co a compartment within the truck. It is a, an area of the truck that you would want the person conducting the inspections to be focused on. Fields are the items or the checks that you would want them to do within that particular section. Uh, and this will make more sense as we jump into it. So first thing you want to do is just add apparatus section. <clears throat> uh, you can title this, whatever you want. In this instance, we're just going to call this a pump panel compartment, make things real simple for us. And you can see that we've created now, once we save, it'll create the section. And then you're going to have these fields here as well. Remember, again, sections are the spaces or parts of the truck that you want to uh, the inspector to focus on. The fields are the actual items or things that you want to be checked. So um, for this one, we're just going to say, well, we need a hydrant wrench. There's three types of, uh, of, of types in accelerant for your truck checks. The first one is pass fail. The second one is short text. And the third one is long text. 95% of the time, you'll be doing pass fail because you'll want to basically just determine if that particular item is there and if it is in operational order. Uh, short text can be uh, can be used for uh, either just short sentences. It's it's kind of a character limited field, and then long text is uh, where the inspector could uh, enter in a paragraph of text if they wanted to. Short text we've used um, for folks to enter mileage or maybe hours on a pump, whatever the case might be. And long text, uh, really good for at the very end of a, uh, a truck check, you can just have somebody uh, enter in a, a summary of the inspection itself if you would like. Um, in this instance, we're just going to say pass fail. Um, and then quantity. So let's just say we have more than one hydrant wrench that we want to have on the truck or at least have uh, you know, them accounted for. So in this instance, I'm just going to go ahead and change this. We've got two in our pump panel compartment. And so we want to make sure that two of them are always in there. And then these description and standards, this is specific to your department. These description and standards can be whatever you want um, the person conducting the inspection to be able to look for. So in this instance, right, we just want the hydrant wrenches to be in working order and accounted for on the truck. Um, that essentially, if you were to save it, that would be your section and that would be your uh, the only item within that compartment. You can add as many fields to a section as you want and you can add as many sections as you want to a truck. So let's go ahead and let's just add <clears throat> another field right so you clicked on add apparatus field and then you just can start entering your the different labels for your fields so okay we got our hydro wrenches let's just say we want to account for spanner wrenches 
Again, we can choose pass fail. Let's just say there's four of them. And we're gonna say the same thing here, right? Um, in working order and accounted for on the truck. And I'm just gonna say, we're gonna say pump hours. We wanna keep a record of our pump hours. So short text, you don't have to have a quantity. Um, so you can just default it to one and it really won't make a difference. Um, and for description standards, you know, please enter hours on the pump. <clears throat> okay, so obviously again, you can add as many sections as you want to the truck and then you can add as many fields as you want to a section. So if we wanted to add another section, we could. There are, uh, there is a pre-built list already um, built out in Accelerant and that's where these libraries come in. So we're working on building kind of a, a, a bunch of different library templates that you can choose from. Um, so, you know, circle back, I'll, I'll create a way for us to, uh, to be able to check on what these library items contain. But if you um, click on add library, you're gonna see the ones that exist there now. So we've got a general, we've got an engine and components, we've got a cab interior, and we got mileage. So all of these, are existing pre-built templates in the library. So if we go ahead and we click on engine and components, well, we can add this one in here. <clears throat> and then if we want to be able to edit it, all we have to do is unlink it from the library. And you can see this already created our section, which is engine and components. And then it has all of these pre-built fields. So we've got our engine oil, engine coolant, power steering, brake fluid, windshield wiper fluid, tires, uh, and if you wanted to add more into that, you certainly could uh, by clicking add apparatus field. And obviously you can change your description and standards to whatever your department would want them to be. Um, and then once you're done with trunk checks, all you have to do is simply hit save. So we're gonna go ahead and save this one, pretend that's the end of uh, our truck check. That is going to build out. Nope, I ended, I ended up doing engine 24, but that's okay. Um, <clears throat> so it created our truck in our fleet. And if we click on this then, this is going to take you to that particular truck and that truck check, right? So it's got all of our information in here. Um, we have, uh, you can see this is exactly how it would look for somebody that is performing the truck check. Um, if they hit pass, green lights it. Failures, all failures, um, are going to make the person responsible for doing the truck check. They're going to have to enter a reason why. So let's just say there's only one on the truck. And we'll just go ahead, pass that one, pump hours. And we're just gonna pass everything else. Right, so if I was the one performing the, the truck check, that's exactly how it would go. If I hit the submit check, at this point in time, it is going to uh, create a summary of that truck check. And it's also going to now generate um, uh, a summary email out to all of the officers you have designated within Accelerant. If we wanna go back and review, that truck check, we just simply have to go back to it. So we click on, in this instance, engine 24, we scroll down to the bottom <clears throat> and you can see that our truck check has been submitted here. We can click on it. And again, you will see the summary already built out. So we have eight total checks, only seven of them pass, one failed. We can see our failure here. Um, we can see the reason for why it failed. And as an officer, I can say, um, added an additional hydrant match to the truck. We can hit save here. And then that comment is going to be tagged as myself here, right, John Smith. I've added this comment. Additional officers can come in, um, or either reply to this or add their own comment so we can have constant communication to make sure that this truck is as good as it can be when we're ready to uh, ready to respond.
Additionally, if we go back to our truck, So again, we go back here <clears throat> to our fleet list, click on engine 24. Every truck that is added to your fleet already comes with a custom QR code. This QR code is specific not only to your department, but to this truck. You can click on it, it enlarges it. You simply have to go up to your browser, you can hit print, you can print this QR code. What we've done that's uh, incredibly successful is you can just go to uh, an uh, office supply company. You can purchase some some paper that's uh, like sticker paper. You print this off, you cut it out, and we've put these QR codes on the interior um, driver's side door. So then anybody that is a member of your department can simply walk up with their phone, scan the QR code, they log in, and it pulls up this specific page to start that truck check. And they are simply just going through it. Um, and it's about as quick of a process as you can, uh, you can get. So hope this has been helpful. If anybody has questions, feel free to reach out. Thank you.